Hundreds of demonstrators marched around Brazil's Rio de Janeiro's Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon yesterday to demand an urgent response from authorities following several fatal stabbings in the seaside city which is to host the Olympic Games next year. The strike at Africa's biggest mobile phone service provider MTN continued today as the Communication Workers Union and the company were set to meet for a feedback session, demanding a 10% pay hike for its members and bonuses of 16% of the workers' annual salaries. The union embarked on a strike on the 20th of May in Fairlands, Johannesburg. South African President Jacob Zuma started off the official Africa Day celebrations in Pretoria yesterday, calling on South Africans to learn more about the continent's history and the role it played in ending apartheid. Every year, Africans mark unity in Africa on the 25th of May, 50 years since the founding of the Organization of African Unity. Poland's newly elected president Andrzej Duda took the streets of Warsaw to give a new meaning to the term public service, handing out coffee to morning travelers in front of a busy metro station today. The victory for 43-year-old Duda marks the first major win in almost a decade for his party, the Opposition Law and Justice Party. Burundi opposition figure Zedi Feruzi, who was shot dead alongside his bodyguard by unknown gunmen, was buried in Bujumbura yesterday. Feruzi, the head of opposition party UPD, and his bodyguard were killed in the Ngagara district.